how's it going? We are back with another Draft League video, this time for the BHA, because you know, it's get down to happen at some point. I can't use my camera for some reason, don't ask me why. I had something really funny in plan, but couldn't use my camera, so I can't do that. So we can just get right into the team builder with um, Paddington the Bear. Yes, Mr. Paddington here, the Urshifu Rapid Strike. The Payapa Berry. Payapa Berry is the Psychic type Berry. I am running this in case Gengar tries to catch me off guard with a Psychic. Because then we can respond and kill with Surging Strikes. Which is awesome. Um, Unseen Fist, the ceiling ability. Fire Punch for the Corviknight, Surging Strikes, because it's Surging Strikes. Drain Punch for Chip, and Swords Dance, just in case I do have a chance to set up. Max Attack, Max Speed, for Special Defense. It's good life here. Next up. It's the Redemption Era time for Mesley, the Ursa Luna, Guts, Flame Orb, Facade, Drain Punch, Fire Punch for the Corviknight, and Toxic, just to see if we can stall something out. 248 HP, 252 attack, 8 special defense, and I don't think this other thing would recover, because that's the move we'd be running instead of Fire Punch. Um, next up, Zoomer, the Zapdos, with leftovers and static. Hurricane, because it's basically like a two-hit KO on absolutely everything on his team. Like, Urshifu dies in one hit. Quagsire is a two-hit KO. Sam is Dog Spun. Um, Golden Go also is a two-hit KO, I believe. Yeah, it's just, this thing is awesome. Thunderbolt Volt Switch Roost, 248 HP, 252 Special Attack, and 8 Special Defense. We went super bulky this week, just to see if we can stall him out. Um... By the way, since I'm at the halfway point, I guess I can show you Arminius' team, the team we're battling this week. It's this team right here, the Rock Forward Rayquazas, Urshifu Single Strike, Golden Go, Corvo Knight, a Terra Gengar that can go into any type it wishes, Quagsire, Doxbun, Zarina Gudra, Dawnfan, Weavile. In a minute. Sorry about that. Let's get right back into his team. Um, yeah, I, was at, I think I was at Zarina. Zarina can tear into any type, just like Gengar, Gudra, Dawnfan, Weavile. Super good team. If you have not seen the draft recap, I'll just read you my team quickly. The Urshifu Rapid Strike, the Zapdos, the Ursaluna, the Hisui and Gudra, Toxapex, Zarud, Arcanine, Gardevoir, Tauros, and Crocolore. Last three can Terra into any type it wishes. Or I wish. So I guess we can continue with the team builder with Big Snail. Big Snail because this thing is literally based off a of snail. I had to Google it, but I was right. It was either Snail or Slug, and it said Snail. We're running the Assault Vest just in case Golden Go tries to... Um, Sweep us with like moves. Flash Cannon, Draco, Flamethrower, Thunderbolt. Flamethrower is a guaranteed 2 hit KO on Golden Go. 252 HP, 252 special attack, 4 special defense of the modest nature. We're here, but you really want to win the game this week. And we're not going to reveal our Terra yet. So we'll go to Bulk Barn. If you don't know what a Bulk Barn is, um, I'm just going to say a quick explanation. It's basically a candy shop with some more other stuff in there. So it's basically like a corner store. Or a, like a, what's it called in the U.S.? A, it's not a corner store, and if it is, then I'm right. Convenience store? Is what you guys might call it? I don't know. Black Sludge, Regenerator. Liquidation, Knockoff, Recover, Toxic. 252 HP, 4 attack, 252 plus defense with an impish nature to deal the most amount of damage. And I guess now it's time for Terra. We're running Cupid this week. The Gardevoir. Choice Scarf with... Trace, Moonblast, Psychic, Energy Ball, and Mystical Fire. Energy Ball for the Quagsire. Moonblast for the Urshifu, because we outspeed it with the Choice Scarf. Um, Mystical Fire for the Corviknight and the Golden Go. Psychic is for... I don't remember what Psychic is for, but it's a 2 hit KO on Doxbun. Um, Terra Fire this week. To deal the most amount of damage with Mystical Fire, because this thing does not learn Fire Blast, which is super weird. But it's fine. Um, 252 special attack, 4 special defense, 252 speed with a timid nature, and that is it for this week of the BHA. I suppose we can get right into the battle. Okay, so we are in the battle here. So we see Zarina, Gengar, Corviknight, Urshifu, Dawnfan, and Quag. I really want to predict the Quagsire lead, or the Dawnfan lead. So I think I lead Gardevoir here. Um, 
Um, we're just trying to figure out if you have the link. Like, at least someone's got to post the link, and I can do it if needed. But you know, it's time, boys. You know, we got the Urshifu's in play. Um, we have. I think my team is super well built for this. So I'm actually very happy about what I built. There's a really high chance that I can do super well here. You know, maybe start off the season with a win, like the TCL. But if that happens, then I might just lose freaking three in a row, and I don't want to do that. But my goal is we got to win one of the first four wins, four games, because one of the admins said that my, the 004 in my name meant 0 and 4. Yes, Dawn fan lead. Prediction, baby. Um, has to have sturdy. So do I want to predict rocks? I'm just going to energy ball. Energy ball, you're knockoff. Okay, so choice scarf is gone. We outspeed you still. Maybe Gardevoir can pick up with the early kill. I did not expect the knockoff right away. I was expecting rocks. He was super quick to click that though. And I don't like that. So like, only issue now is if you go into core night, or energy ball is nothing. I think he's thinking like, just you either go Corviknight or you go Zarya. No way you stay in. Yeah. Boom. So for this thing, I'm just going to send in. Um. I don't know for this thing honestly. Ursaluna, yeah, Ursaluna on U-turn. That's good. I probably could have Terra Fire there and resist the hit, but that's fine. Um, we have Ursaluna in. I think your counter to Ursaluna is. Urshifu? But for Urshifu, I really want to predict that you go for a dark type move to kill Cupid and stay in and drain punch that thing. So if that happens, then it happens. If that happens, we can just actually, I think we can probably just click freaking Facade and kill. Facade has to be able to kill this thing. Facade looks super good going into his team, by the way, just to mention. Um, Dawn Fan being super low is better. I did not know that you run knockoff Don Pan. I have not prepped versus that. I have some teams up. Oh, I didn't. All my teams are gone. Damn it. Because I have like five or six teams that he could have brought, and this was one of them. Yeah, you send the Don Fan back in. So the Don is back in. Um, Facade or Saluna picks up a kill versus Don Fan. Off to a good start for Mesley. Let's go. Um, did he reset? That's fine. Um, so Don Fan was down to Saluna. I gotta write this down. I don't have my notepad down here, so um, I'm gonna fire punch this thing. Pretty much a free fire punch, right? It's free. Yeah, it's a free fire punch. Yeah, free fire punch here, right? Oh wait, because let me think. Corbin, I can't learn like a move to kill me, right? Taunt, you taunted. This is perfect. Fire punch is a two-hit KO on this thing, except for if you're Something like that. Roost. Are you just gonna spam roost here? So I'm gonna, I could just steal resist. Me sadly, I don't have a move to boost my attack. So you're in the clear, bud. You're in the clear. Um, could send Zapdos in on a roost. I'm gonna fire punch again. Body press does 34. Fire punch to KO this turn. So I'm gonna go for it. Right, 34. Oh, there's a roll where I live and there's a roll where I kill. Okay, I'm 26, and so now I die for sure. And I don't want to. I don't want to sacrifice you for that. Um, send Zapdos in, and um, you don't have a ground type. Yes, you do. Um, good Hurricane. Pretty clean Quag, but even if Quag comes in, I can just stay in. Yeah, you send the Quag Zyre in. This is pretty much a free Hurricane. You set spikes, so you're setting spikes up, which is not good for my team. Um, so Hurricane's a 2 at KO most of the time, unless you're like super special defensive. So hopefully this works out here. I mean, we have the one, we have the 6-5 lead here, so it's fine to take a risk here. We have Roost if um, we mess up the risk here. Um, if something goes bad, then we can always just Roost up if something goes good here. Which I'd love. Maybe we can get pull up a crit hurricane and kill Quagsire. So we don't have to deal with any more spikes. Because one spike's enough. Um, I have no way to absorb the spike. Quagsire can't learn like still go crash, right? Unless it learns like rock slide or something like that. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Um, wait, hurricane. 
to a KO plus confusion. No. Okay, so if we can just hit a hurricane here. Because if anything, Corviknight would go down. Zarina goes down. Gengar takes a butt ton. Urshifu dies. So, like, I think Zoomer is my way to win. I probably should have ran Heavy Duty Boots instead of Leftovers now that I think about it. Let me drink some water quickly. Water, water, water. Let's go. It's This is going super well so far. Um, we don't have a Boots user, if I remember. Right? No Boots? No Boots. And if the Gengar is running Psychic, my Payapa Berry Urshifu is perfect. Right? I don't know why it says I have the normal form. It says I have Rapid. It says we both have the normal form. I don't know why. But we're just if it if it does happen where I'm using his Pokemon, we'll reset, we'll use the same we'll do the exact same things. Um Corviknight comes in. Yes. Zoomer picks up a kill. This is a free stay in here. Unless you have like rock slide Urshifu. Let's do this. Come on. This is going super good so far. Um, Arminius is probably hoping for the Urshifu sweep in the end. If you send the... I don't know what you send in here. Right? You have nothing to kill me. Because Urshifu can't kill me. Just so you know, Urshifu, unless it's Choice Banded, does not kill. And if the Urshifu is max speed, it outspeeds me, but like... You won't be able to kill me. Unless you get the super duper lucky crit. Okay, okay I, I just want to see what he does. Because what he does depends on the rest of the game. If he sends Quagsire in to sacrifice it, I'm going to go for it. If he sends the Gengar in... If he sends the Gengar in, then I'm just going to probably stay in, see if it has Rock Slide. I'm pretty certain that Gengar learns Rock Slide. And I can't check that quickly. I'm not going to say anything to that, but that's true. The offensive Zapdos destroys here. It does, though. That's the thing. If we can pull off a 6-0 sweep, that actually puts us super well for the ranking, because earlier today, someone else got swept by a Belly Drum Trailblaze Azumarill. Oh, you sent Gengar. So this is to test the waters. And see, like, if it's bulky Gengar, if it's not bulky Gengar. Um, you're, you are psychic. Yes, this is perfect. 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 Zy, it's Gengar. Oh, oh, no, no. You can make the prediction and go into freaking Quag. Hurricane safe. Hurricane safe. Hurricane safe. Cause you go, go. Damn it. So now we have to hit a hurricane. Oh, my God. Why am I missing hurricanes? How much did Hurricane do earlier? Hurricane to Quag did how much? Um, I hate the fact that I have to do this, but I'm probably going to have to Toxic on Bulk Barn at some point. Hurricane takes out Quag. That, that's awesome. This is awesome. We got our Leftovers boost. Okay, because so, Urshifu can't kill. Gengar is super low. Cannot kill with Psychic. Because um, Psychic does 68 to Urshifu. So even if he does somehow kill Zoomer, we can send Urshifu in. We live a Psychic. And stuff can change. So, because the thing is here, if Zapdos can hit all of its moves, it wins, and we can just not even have to send in freaking release Terra. The only issue is he does have Terra, so he could swap out of his type into a different type. I'm only doing this battle on the first day because of the fact that, um. It's either I, we suggested to do it on the 21st, which is the day the first week starts. But we want, we decided on doing it today. He really wanted to do it today. So I'm like, okay, well, if I can set up the team and get my mocks in, then we are good to go. Like, yeah, you send Gengar in. Um, Thunderbolt kills, but you can also just go for Hurricane. Terra fighting. Shadow Ball does not kill. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is GG's right here, man. And if we do get threatened by something, then, um, yeah, Urshifu has to come in here. Hurricane? Because I don't think you kill me. Wicked Blow does. Okay. But we can send in you. 
and last. Cause like um my Urshifu switch in was Zapdos, and Zapdos is dead now because Zapdos cleaned house. Killed Corviknight, killed Gengar, killed the Quag. Um Everyone's laughing about a bear punching a bird. Okay, U turn does end up killing. Crap, I really wanted to try and see if it didn't. Um, I could send in U and poison jab. I'm probably going to send Gudra in here. And flamethrower for free. This is a free flame. You already waste Terra, so this does half guaranteed. Yes, Sap Sipper, baby. Sap Sipper. That does half. You send the Urshifu takes big damage. Urshifu takes big damage. Um, I don't know if I die, cause we may. I think he's running the Calc right now to see if I die, and I don't know if I. I don't think he predicts me. Um, I'm gonna run. I can. I'm gonna click Draco. I'm clicking Draco because it either kills Zaw or it kills Urshifu, and if it kills Urshifu, then that's awesome. Okay, it does kill. Um, but now I'm pretty free to send in Toxapex. Cause I don't think oh yeah, we can we can poison jab here just in case you go into Zarina. Yeah, you, you turn to Zarina. Let's go! Pex picks up a kill. That's not a kill. Poison, 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 poison. Poison. Um, we do have regenerate. We have regenerator if we really want to sacrifice this thing, but I think we live because we are physically defensive. Power whip doesn't end up killing. You can just click recover again because Zarina dies whenever it comes in, unless you are going to synthesis me out. Um, oh, your rocky helm is Zarina. So. Issue is here, like, you're gonna have to stall me out. I'm at full, so I don't, I don't take nothing from this. I take nothing from this. So I think I think Peck just cleaned up house here. Because, right? Yeah, we know your whole trop kick U turn synthesis. You have nothing to hit top Pex with, and I think I just win here. I think Peck just sweeps house here. Now we recover because we don't die of power whip unless it's power whip crit. Perfect. Toxic does a ton this battle, man. Pex just won me the game. Pex just literally won me the game, like 80. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. I hate that I put poison jab, not sludge wave, but that's something that we can't change. Um, power whip. So we take this thing down to 26. I'm gonna power. I hate the fact that I'm doing so much to myself. Like this. Whoa. Okay. So I think. Yeah. So it, yeah. So Pex goes down here to Urshifu, but I think my Urshifu cleans house. Unless you just like, what do you have? Wicked blow, U-turn, close combat. You wicked blow for the crit kill. I can send in my mon that resists the hit. And drain punch. Is this GG right here? Is this GG right here? Because I don't think I died to a wicked blow. I don't think I died to a wicked blow. This was super close game. If I die to a wicked blow here, we are messed up and we freaking lose. Close combat. We live. Let's go. Started off the season with a 2-0 win. Let's go. GG. GG, man. Armenius is down. Whoever said we were going 0-4, screw you.
because that's not happening today. That is not happening at all. Um, sadly, camera still messes up. Well, I guess we can just go to the post-match interview. Or not interview, post-match talk with myself. Let's do it. Okay, so here we are with the team after the match. There's a couple things I want to say. One, we redeemed Mesley. Two, Zapdos was the MVP of the match. 100%. Hurricane, you killed Quagsire, Corviknight, and Gengar. You did big damage to everything else. Big Snail did not do as much as you thought. Cupid, same there. Balk Barn picked up a kill, which I love. Um, Paddington, you know, kind of clutched the game up for us at the end. Versus the Urshifu, that def we, he definitely could have won that end game. I think I just got super lucky and I played the thing whole right. And there's not much I can do to change that. The Piapa Berry was not much needed, but it still was good prep because the Gengar did end up having Psychic. Meaning if I was in against the Gengar, then I would have got messed up there. So yeah, I believe I played super well. Um, was not expecting the Dawn fan to come at all. So props to the man, Arminius. Thanks for the battle, buddy. You think you played bad? I don't believe you played bad whatsoever. I think you did awesome. That's it. That's the game right there. Hope you had fun watching, and I'll be back with week two of the BHA. Have fun, guys.